So for the last seven days, I have been spending two hours every morning to learn a new skill, and it's Langchain. Hi, I'm Rishab, and if you're new to the channel, welcome, and let's learn about what Langchain is. So Langchain is an open source framework that allows developers working with AI to combine large language models like GPT-4 with external sources of computation and data. The framework is currently offered in Python and JavaScript, well, TypeScript to be specific, and you can combine large language models like GPT-4 from OpenAI or Hugging Face to your own application. So it's an open source framework that allows you to build, you know, AI LLM application. Before we dive any deeper into Langchain and the framework, I wanted to share the resources that I have been using to learn this new skill. So the first one is from deeplearning.ai. You might already have heard of this platform if you're into the world of AI and machine learning. Um, the course is called Langchain for LLM Application Development. Highly recommend it. It's one hour and it's free. So go check it out if you're interested to learn more about Langchain after watching this video. And there's this Langchain Crash Course for Beginners by Code Basics. Again, highly recommend it. It's around 45 minutes. And the person talks about different kind of chains you can set up, how to set up an agent. And I'll talk a bit more about, you know, what chains are, what agents are, um, because it, this might be your first video about Langchain. So yeah, these are the two resources that I used to learn this new skill. Coming back to Langchain, you know, as we saw, it allows you to connect a large language model like TPT4 to your own sources of data. And we are not talking about, you know, pasting a snippet of text into chat GPT uh, prompt. We are talking about referencing an entire database filled with your own data. So it could be, you know, a book that's in PDF format that you have converted into the right format for these LLMs to use, which are known as vector databases. And not only that, once you get all this information you need, you can have Langchain to perform a certain action for you by integrating external APIs. So let's say you want to send an email at the end of, you know, whatever task you did uh, with your given data set. And this is where the kind of the main concepts come into play uh, for the Langchain framework. So I built this diagram while I was studying to better, you know, kind of understand the concepts. So you have three main kind of concepts. You have components, chains, and agents. So within components, you know, we have LLM wrappers that allow us to connect to a large language model like GPT-4 or Hugging Face. Then we have prompt templates. Prompt templates allows us to avoid having to hard code text, which is the input to LLMs. And then we have indexes that allows us to extract the relevant information for the LLMs. The second concept is chains. The chains allow us to combine multiple components, which are these here, together to solve a specific task and build an entire application. And finally, we have the agent that allows LLM to interact with its environment and any of the external APIs. Remember how I talked about the task you want to perform after you have retrieved the information. There is a lot to unpack in Langchain and new stuff is being added every day. But on a high level, this is what the framework looks like. But I have built, you know, kind of a demo app as, you know, projects are the way that all of this information basically sticks. And, you know, being hands-on is how I learn. So here I have a demo app. So I'm using Streamlit, you know, which kind of gives a front end to Python applications. So you don't have to, you know, use React, Angular, or Vue, or any of the famous frameworks for your front end. Streamlit makes it really easy. You just have to write Python code for your LLM application. So what I have built is, if I go back to my browser here, is a pets name generator. I know it's not 
a big project, you know, but I'll see what other ideas I come up with where I can use, you know, the Langchain framework. But for now, as the path's name generator. So on the left-hand side, as you can see, there is, what is your pet? So basically you pick the animal that you might have as a pet. So dog, cat, hamsters, rats, snake, lizards, cow. And then you type in what color is your dog because I picked dog. So let's say white and you hit control enter. And what my app does is basically suggests five names that you can have for your pet. So it's snowy, marshmallow, cotton, cloud, and pearl. I am not using my own data here. So I'm just utilizing OpenAI's GPT-4 to, you know, come up with these names. And use, as you can see, I have a Langchain helper file here. So this is where all of the kind of concepts we learned about was put into action. So you can see I have function called generate pet name. And then you can see we are using prompt templates as we saw in the diagram here. So for the LLM wrapper, I'm using OpenAI's GPT-4. And then we are also using prompt templates, right? Because this is how we will input stuff for our LLM. So yeah, there you go. So that's prompt template. And then you can see how I have input variables um, because I'm using animal type, which we saw from the dropdown was dog, cat, and various other animals. And then pet color, which was white in our case. So those two act as the input variables for our prompt template. And then you also have the actual statement that I want to ask the OpenAI LLM, which is I have this animal type. I want a cool name for it. This is the pet color, suggest me five names. And then we have the second concept, which was the chains, which is to assemble components to solve a specific task. So in our case, we are taking the prompts and we are outputting whatever the LLM suggested as a cool name for our pet. In our case, there will be a five. So I'm returning that as a list, which you can see in the main.py at the end. So you see how st.txt and it gives all the pet names to us in a list. That is the test application that I built during learning about Langchain and how the framework works. For now, I'll keep improving this app. And I also have one more idea, which I'll probably share on this channel later. But yeah, the kind of the possibilities, you know, are endless. I'm thinking of building something with my own data set. I just have to set up a vector database, but I'm excited about learning this new skill set and I hope you find the video insightful. Make sure you're subscribed and comment down if you are trying to learn about LLMs and AI since you know it's really hard right now. So comment down if you are learning and if you find this video helpful. I'll keep you updated about my progress that I've made. So far it's only been seven days. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.